Welcome to the City of Stamford on Channel 79. Bienvenidos a nuestra ciudad. David Martin, Mayor. Bookmark our website, stamfordct.gov. Find us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Nextdoor. If you've got a problem and you want it fixed, go to stamfordct.gov slash fixit and report potholes, problems with lights, housing, tree services, or sewers. The 2020 Census will invite everyone to respond, and your response is vital. Every household will have the option of responding online, by mail, or by phone. Nearly every household will receive an invitation to participate in the 2020 Census from either a postal worker or a census worker. The 2020 Census timeline is as follows. In the early part of March, the majority of people will receive a letter with information how to take the survey online. Between the middle of March and the end of April, an additional four reminders will be sent if you didn't respond initially. Stay prepared during hurricane and winter storm seasons. Sign up for emergency alerts at ctalert.gov and through BePreparedStamford.org. The city's emergency hotline number is 203-977-8840. Need 911? Call if you can, text if you can't. Calling is the best and fastest way to reach 911, but you should text if you're deaf, hard of hearing, or have a speech disability, you're in a situation where it's not safe to call 911 for help, or if you're having a medical emergency and cannot speak on the phone. Reach out to the police at stampordct.gov slash police. Our non-emergency number is 203-977-4444 and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Reach the fire department at stamfordfire.com our non-emergency number is 203-977-5555 and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Stamford EMS provides paramedic transport services for the City of Stamford. Station sites were chosen to provide the optimal level of response. Ambulance stations are located at the Longridge Road Headquarters, the Westside Fire Station, the Tully Health Center, Glenbrook Fire Department, and 24 Vine Road. For more information, visit StamfordEMS.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Connecticut 211 is your connection to the local services you need from utility assistance, food, housing, child care, after school programs, elder care, crisis intervention, and much more. 211 is always ready to assist you to find the help you need. Dial 211 or go to 211ct.org. Plastic disposable carryout bags sold or distributed by a retail establishment in the city of Stamford are banned. Retailers will charge consumers 10 cents for each disposable carryout bag made of paper requested. Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or a similar government assistant program, those programs are exempt from the charge. When the lights are flashing, don't be passing. When you see a school bus with red lights flashing and the stop sign out, it is illegal to pass in either direction. Our children's safety is paramount. The Stamford Tax Office is located on the sixth floor of the Government Center, 888 Washington Boulevard. You can pay online at stamfordct.gov forward slash tax dash collection. 
Every dog must be licensed when it becomes six months old and then annually every June. The license costs $8 for a dog that has been spayed or neutered and $19 for an unaltered dog. Checks should be payable to the City of Stamford Town Clerk. Download the dog license form at stamfordct.gov slash town clerk. Provide a copy of your rabies vaccination certificate signed by your veterinarian. Mail or visit the town clerk to complete the registration. If you have a parking ticket that needs to be paid, you can do it online at stamford.pavvats.com or in person at the cashiering and permitting office in the lobby of the Government Center at 888 Washington Boulevard. The Stamford City and Town Clerk's Office is your center for vital statistics, land records, marriage licenses, and the place to get absentee ballots, and so much more. Visit the Town Clerk's Office in the Government Center lobby at 888 Washington Boulevard, weekdays from 8 to 3.45 p.m., or call Lita Reuter, our Town Clerk, at 203-977-4054. Watch all board and commission videos on demand online at stamfordct.gov slash stamford videos. Review meetings of the boards of education, finance and representatives, the planning and zoning boards, the zoning board of appeals, and the Harbor Health and Social Services Commission and more. The city's Office of Economic Development has a specific website to help you grow your business in Stamford. Go to choosestamford.com. If you've recently moved to Stamford or changed your address, you will need to change your voter registration. Go to voterregistration.ct.gov. If you want to know where you vote, go to stamfordct.gov slash registrar dash of dash voters. Mill River Park in downtown Stamford connects people and nature. For the latest news and events, visit millriverpark.org. The Stephen and Alexander Cohen Skating Center at Mill River Park is open for the season. The hours of operation are Monday through Thursday, 5 to 9 p.m., Friday, 5 to 10 p.m., Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m., to 9 p.m. Visit the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Display Fountain and Skating Center at Mill River Park. Hours of operation for the Skating Center are Monday through Thursday 5 to 9 p.m., Friday 5 to 10 p.m., Saturday 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Sunday 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. The fountain is beautifully lit from spring through fall. Visit the Brownstein Selkowitz Carousel Pavilion and Nissen Carousel in Mill River Park, open Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, go to millriverpark.org slash carousel. Stay informed by email. Become an e-subscriber to any of these lists for urgent alerts and news announcements from the Mayor's Office, the Health Department, Emergency Services, Public Safety and Welfare, the Building Department, Engineering Department, Human Resources, or the Registrar of Voters. Go to stamfordct.gov forward slash subscribe. The Stanford Senior Center is located on the second floor of the Government Center at 888 Washington Boulevard. Go to stamfordseniorct.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Stamford Recreation Services offers year-round activities, team sports, camps, the Terry Connors Ice Rink, and more. For more information, call 203-977-5214 or visit StamfordRecreation.com. The Christina Mygat Recycling Center is open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's located at 130 McGee Avenue. Garbage and recycling are accepted, but you must have residential license plates. There's also a free book swap and a take it or leave it shop. 
You can follow them online at stanfordct.gov forward slash recycling dash and dash sanitation. Watch all board and commission videos on demand online at stanfordct.gov slash stanford dash videos. Review meetings of the Boards of Education, Finance and Representatives, the Planning and Zoning Boards, the Zoning Board of Appeals, and the Harbor Health and Social Services Commission, and more. The Stamford Board of Representatives can be found at boardofreps.org. Find your representatives, meeting schedules, agendas, and video archives. The full board meets on the first Monday of every month at 8 p.m. on the fourth floor of the Government Center in the Legislative Chamber. The public is welcome and a live stream is available on our website. Stamford Public Schools provide an education that cultivates productive habits of mind, body, and heart in every student. Our superintendent is Dr. Tamu Lucero. To learn more, visit StamfordPublicSchools.org or call 203-977-5106. There's always something for the whole family at the Stanford Museum and Nature Center. Find us at StanfordMuseum.org. We're located at 39 Schofield Town Road in Stanford. If you live in Harbor Point, don't forget that there is a Harbor Point trolley. It connects Stamford downtown with Harbor Point. Go to hptrolley.com to find out the schedule. Yes, the city's Youth Employment Services is an accessible website built for Stamford's youth ages 16 to 26. We help students find jobs. Volunteering opportunities are offered to our youth ages 14 to 15. Visit stamford-yes.org or call 203-977-0830. The Ferguson Library is the heart of the community. There are four branches. The main branch on Broad Street and Atlantic, the South End branch, the Weed Memorial and Hollander branch, and the Harry Bennett branch. Find us at fergusonlibrary.org. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. The City of Stamford, innovating since 1641. Thank you for watching Channel 79.